In 2004, my family founded and continued to operate a nonprofit soup kitchen and clothes closet in our local community. These services are available to anyone with no questions asked or qualifications to me. In 2005, my dad quit his corporate job of over 10 years to operate Families Being Families full-time. In 2006, my little brother was born prematurely, later to be diagnosed with cerebral palsy and Asperger's, a form of autism. In 2009, my dad was suddenly diagnosed with stage 2 lymphoma in his throat and neck. This was the beginning of a new normal for our family. My mom was helping with the ministry, working with high-risk mothers, parenting five kids, and was working on her degree. My dad was dying. My brother has to have physical and occupational therapy for cerebral palsy and Asperger's. And because of these issues, mom and dad feel it is best that he is homeschooled. Mom handles that. She gives without ceasing. Mom never left my dad throughout his illness and treatment. She fought for him and researched the treatments and procedures in hospitals. My mom continued with her education as dad requested. She never left dad's side, ran the ministry in place of dad, and continued parenting us and mentoring the high-risk parents. Mom never complained. She reminded us and all those watching her and dad of all the positive we can find in each situation. There were many times dad was very close to death. Only because of God and many prayers is he still with us and mom just stepped in without missing a beat. She continued our schedules, not wanting any more disruptions in our lives. She also continued to research my youngest brother and research answers for him. Dad had pneumonia off and on through his chemo treatments. Eight hour treatments, three hours away. He got encephalitis and mom fought to ensure he was cared for properly. Dad finally was declared in remission from cancer in May of 2010. In August of 2010, he was later diagnosed with CNS, Central Nervous System Cancer. There is no cure for this rapidly deteriorating disease. One month later, he was undiagnosed. This was simply a miracle. We know this. About this same time, my dad started having grand mal seizures. He has been code blue and quit breathing more than once. Dad continues to experience seizures and now has an epilepsy diagnosis along with a brain injury that has developed through the treatments, infections, and chronic fatigue syndrome. Only within the last part of November 2011 was our father granted full disability. The brain injury has also altered his short-term memory. He is not able to take us to school, manage the ministry, or even simple chores like taking the trash out. Mom now handles it all and still loves him unconditionally. I'm Emma, and I'm 12 years old. Hello, my name is Brian Burkhalter. I'm the father and husband. My wife, Tish, takes care of our entire family by herself after I was diagnosed in 2009 with cancer. With your help, we can show her how much we love and appreciate her. She is dedicated not only to me, who is disabled now, but to our five-year-old son, who has autism and CP and is also disabled. She currently homeschools him due to his needs. She took over my director's position at Family Street and Families, so she gets calls at all hours of the day. My wife is more than willing to serve our family and community by simply making it happen. My wife just keeps going, even though just a few months ago she was told that there could be a chance of breast cancer and that they wanted to wait six months to do another scan. She continues with a positive attitude and she won't let anything stop her. With the help of Many community volunteers, families feeding families, was able to serve over 500 Thanksgiving meals. She will now oversee the ministry's Christmas adoption program. This doesn't give just a gift or two, but truly gives a complete Christmas to hundreds of community children. It will be such a blessing. Thank you very much.